Welcome to the BA211 online principles of accounting course. Really excited about this term. We're going to have a lot of good learning and uh, hopefully a good experience with online accounting. So to begin this course, uh, or to begin in this video, I'm going to talk about the textbook. We're also going to talk about the different assignments that are going to be required uh, on a weekly basis in this course. We're going to talk about the group project. And then finally, we're going to talk about the exams. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the textbook. Okay, so here, this is the Blackboard site that I have up here. The Blackboard site is going to, uh, for the beginning of the course, the first couple of weeks, it's going to open up to the Start Here page. The Start Here page has a welcome announcement. At the bottom of the welcome announcement is a, a, a link and some information about the textbook. Okay, so what is required for this course? The course requirement is for you to have access to the online uh, Connect product through McGraw-Hill. Okay, so the printed textbooks is uh, optional. A lot of the students need it and require it depending on the access you have to internet and how you study, right? So when you get the online, the Connect uh, code, when you purchase that through either the bookstore here at TVCC or online, it, it includes an ebook. So you don't necessarily need the hard copy book, but um, a lot of students get the hard copy book, right? If you're gonna get it through the bookstore, you can get the hard copy book. It comes with the access code and the, the pair through the bookstore is really probably the best value because you're gonna have that hard copy book through all sections of accounting. So hopefully you're gonna be taking the BA211, BA212, and BA213, all the series of accounting uh, throughout the next year. Um, so winter, spring, and summer is, is the way that that works uh, with the accounting sequence online. And you're gonna have uh, that book through for the, for the entire three sections, right? Or three parts of the course. The connect is gonna be required, right? Why is it required? Is because that's how you do all your homework. So all the study assignments, all the homework assignments, all the examinations and, and uh, the tests will all be done through Connect. Uh, it's going to be seamless because Connect is is uh, linked through Blackboard. Okay, so you don't have to go out to Connect the Connect site and log in every time. You can go through Blackboard and get all the assignments that way. Um, but but anyway, so that's going to be the requirement. You got to have Connect. You got to have at least the online textbook, the ebook. Uh, if you don't want to just rely upon that. If you want the hard copy book, I suggest you get the hard copy book. It can be super useful and, and helpful for studying and, and working things out. Uh, that's the textbook. Uh, let's talk about the uh, coursework. So in the welcome announcements, it walks through, it briefly talks about the coursework. It doesn't lay out the points or anything for the, for the work. You can get that in the syllabus. Syllabus has all my contact information, my office hours. Uh, it has how your grade is, uh, how all the points come together for your final grade. So that the syllabus is important to look at and I suggest you do that. But let's just briefly talk about each assignment. So number one here, uh, learn smart reading assignment. So once you get the Connect product up and going, then uh, you're gonna be able to access the learn smart reading assignment. The Learn Smart Reading Assignment is, it is just that. It's basically a study assignment. You're going to go in, you're going you're gonna to study a chapter with the smart book. It's the online virtual book. As you read the chapter, you're going to answer uh, questions or items that has items out there in the Learn Smart. Once you complete all the items, then your study is over and you get points for that. So with this, it's just a matter of doing it. You get full points uh, if you do everything, all the items, you answer all the items correctly, you don't have any outstanding items 
uh, in the Learn Smart for each chapter. If you don't complete the assignment by the time it's due, you don't get any credit. This one, there's no uh, doing it late for late assignments or anything, it's set. Everything's due Saturday at midnight for this course. So at the end of the week, uh, you need to have everything done, or the end of Saturday, I guess, right? Saturday at midnight is when everything's done. So number two here, completed a homework assignment. That's also available on the Connect tool. It's it's gonna give you assignments to work through. Okay, and you put your work in on the computer. Uh, super awesome uh, option with this is it comes with a check your work button, right? So you can do the assignment or do part of the assignment, whatever hit the check your work button at the bottom, it'll say, okay, it's right or wrong, and, and you can kind of work through assignments that way that are very helpful. Uh, number three, there's a chapter quiz, and I suggest you do the, the assignments in this order every week. Do the Learn Smart reading assignment. It's the foundation. Uh, do the homework assignment. It'll get you into the nitty gritty and so you can work out what you've learned. Do the chapter uh, third. So the chapter quiz, I should say the chapter quiz, do the chapter quiz third. This is to help you review and, and test, did you really understand the content? And then uh, fourth is a weekly participation journal entry. So really two parts of this are, gonna, are basically just work, a point you get for, for doing okay, the assignment. The number one, the Learn Smart, you, if you do it, you get full points. And number four, if you enter a participation journal entry, you get full points for that. You need to have 10 of those journal entries uh, for the first 10 weeks of the course. The last week of the course, you don't have to do one. It's, it's finals week. So just 10 journal entries gives you 100% of the points for that. The quizzes and assignments are graded based upon uh, did you get the answer right or not, right? So that's how you get the points there. So there's the uh, weekly assignments. And then uh, we'll have, a, let's talk about the exams. That'll be, that's next here. So there's two exams. There's a midterm exam and then there's the final exam. So uh, the, exams, the exams are worth 40% of your total grade. And uh, you're gonna need to take them either in a TVCC testing center or with an approved proctor. The proctors are set up in a, a, you, through the TVCC Testing Center. So you're gonna wanna go to the TVCC Testing Center site, contact them. If you can't sit at a TVCC Testing Center either on, in Ontario or Caldwell or Burns, you're gonna want to set up a proctor. And there's lots of options of where to proctor a test and they'll get help get you set up. So do that as quickly as possible if you're setting up proctors so you'll have that set. The project, the term project, is a group project. So the group project is going to be, uh, you're gonna do what are called serial problems. They're at the end of each chapter and they're called serial problems because they're, they're uh, all with the same company and they all build on one another, right? Basically, in that manner. You're gonna do that with a group, okay? So there's a link over to the side here, group project. So the group project, there's some instructions to help you get going on it. You're gonna go, go into this group tab here, which is the second link down. You are gonna sign up for a group yourself. So the signups are open. Uh, you need to go jump into a group. And if you know people already in the class and you wanna be in the group with them, then make sure you get into the same group number, right? So there's groups that are numbered out there. Uh, you can sign up for any group you want. Uh, make sure you jump into a group if you want, if you have uh, somebody you want to be with, you know, in a group, make sure you, you coordinate that and get in the same group. Uh, the groups are set. So, so once you get in a group, make the most of it, do your best. Uh, and the group's project is in two parts. Uh, one part is due at midterm, the week that the midterm is, is uh, due. And the other part is due at, during finals week, at the end of finals week. And so with, with your group, you're gonna come together, you're gonna figure out how you're gonna get the work done and who's gonna do what maybe, or if you all do some together, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna have your own little group page on here. Once you get your group set up, you go back to groups and you'll have your own group page you can coordinate with and kind of save stuff 
or you can use any you know any form of communication you want to use if you want to share you know uh, phone numbers so you can text one another whatever you want to do just coordinate that and get your plan set and then the group evaluate or the group parts are due and you can submit them here only one submission per group so everybody get do their work uh, and then one submission for the group goes in and you guys uh, get your points uh, based upon how well you did on your project right I'm gonna grade them all and then there's also group member evaluations you're gonna do one at midterm one in the fi at finals week and that the evaluations can also affect your grade right so if you are somebody in your group that doesn't participate that's not uh, really supporting the group and that comes back in in a group evaluations and and you know there, I know there's some conflict maybe sometimes in groups but if if it's a consensus that this person didn't do the work uh, then your grade is going to uh, reflect that so so anyways get in there work with your group you're gonna be evaluated in the end right is the idea with that though that's kind of the basis for the class something else real quick so with that connect product right so the textbook you have the option of going to this link so there here's a link at the bottom right here right it's gonna kick you over to connect and you have the option to sign up okay to sign in create a create a um, username for yourself get in there and then you can use it for two weeks uh, for free until you get your uh, textbook all set up right so financial aid whatever's not working out you have two weeks to figure stuff out before you need to actually purchase the connect access code and um, plug it in so you can continue on with the rest of your work so two weeks or freebie and figure out what you're gonna do where you're gonna buy your your access code and how you're gonna you know make that work and then get it going for the rest of the term there's no uh, I couldn't afford the code or anything this is really the requirement of the class and so there's no sharing codes right it's you and it's your own code so that's what you're gonna need to get to get going but there is two weeks it gives you a little bit of a cushion to figure things out and uh, feel free to email me call me or uh, come by my office I'm in uh, Barber Hall on Ontario campus if you want to come visit me have a good term and we'll talk to you later